you, Steve. Well, our next guest was pronounced dead at the scene after a semi-truck collided with his car. For the next 90 minutes, he experienced what he calls the glories of heaven. Miraculously, he came back to life, sharing his story over the past 10 years in his book, 90 Minutes in Heaven. So how has life changed since then? Pastor Don Piper joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be here. I mean, you have affected so many people with your writing and your story. Mm. That day, was it 1989? 1989. You were hit with this truck. Describe right. anything that you can recall. And then the hospital after, and then 90 minutes. I was on my way to church to lead a Bible study on a Wednesday, and I uh, didn't make it. I was crossing a rural bridge in East Texas. and uh, This is your wheeling. car here? That it is. Here. Yeah, you can see the trajectory of the truck and a head-on collision, just crushed the car with me in it, shoved me up against the railing of the bridge. Um, a horrific accident. He struck a couple of other cars. So four vehicle pile up on this old bridge in the middle of nowhere and took a long time for help to arrive, but they did. And uh, um, a man uh, who was behind me, uh, I, was, uh, I was declared dead by four paramedics. Declared dead, and mm -hmm. then you say you took your last breath on earth and your first breath in exactly. heaven? Exactly. And who was there greeting you? I was surrounded by people I had known and loved in life. Uh, my grandfather was the first person I saw. I, would been, I had been with him when he died, and uh, he was there to receive me when I died. When I saw his face, I knew where I was because I knew where he was, and he looked good. And you had missed him. Oh, of course, yes. I was devastated by his death. Uh, he had a heart attack and died. I, I was with him. And uh, we we're very close, and now I'm arriving in heaven, and there he is. I hadn't seen him in 14 years. What did he look like? He looked great. Okay. If you want to look great, I think heaven is where you want to be. Um, he was missing fingers here on earth. He, it, he was in, in, in industrial sure. accident and lost fingers, and he extended his hands to me in heaven and said, Welcome home, Donnie. That's what he called me. And I looked down at the fingers that used to hold me when I was a little boy, and they were all there. You're going to be perfect in heaven. Everyone's perfect. Okay. Well, I, that's good news for a lot of people. <laughs> it is. But you're back. I and am back, and I was not perfect. No, you had some struggles, depression, post-surgery. You wanted, I, I would guess, any normal person would want to be in one place or the other. Uh, yes. Moving well, around completely here or, or there I wanted to be heaven. there. I, I, uh, if you've been there, you don't want to be here. Um, I was in horrible condition. I had brain damage. I was impaled on the steering wheel. This arm wound up in the back seat of the car. My legs were crushed by the dashboard when it, uh, I was actually missing four inches of my left leg. Wow. And uh, so I was given a poor prognosis for you, any kind of meaningful life. Well, your purpose here, though, is clear. I mean, after millions and millions of copies so sold, and now this new version where it tells the story of how it's affected so many, from exactly. giving peace to families who have lost loved ones overseas at war, uh, to families who've lost children. Right. Do you feel as though this is why this all happened, so you could communicate heaven? <laughs> I do now. I, I didn't then. Uh, you, you, you saw the pictures. I was in... Um, such awful shape for years. I had to go through two years of therapy just to learn to walk again. So I, I do understand now that it, it seems to have that kind of effect, and that's why we kind of released an updated edition 10 years later. Short answer here, but I'm sure it would take hours to explain what heaven's like. Is it worth the wait and worth the fight? For oh, heaven? it is. Um, heaven is a, a prepared place for prepared people. You know, Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. And then when asked, how do I get there? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It is everything you think it is. But the best thing about heaven is not the music, not the angels, not the streets. It's you're with God. Okay. You are with God, and he is with you. I have to say, Don Piper... One incredible story affecting millions across the globe and beyond uh, I mean, into heaven, 90 minutes Ten years heaven. later, I'm stunned. Wow. Well, we are stunned at your story and all that you have to offer in this book. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you very much. Well, coming up, women listen.